So we're here at uh, Divix, and uh, who are you? My name is Thorsten Schumann, I'm from Engineering, located in Aachen, Germany. Uh, this is my colleague, yeah. Yuri from Tamsk, Russia. And uh, what are you showing here at Divix? So at this demonstration we have dash playback, video on demand. So content is somewhere on a server and you can playback in the web player, so that you see this is a browser. And depending on the bandwidth you have, it's switching between different qualities. So this content is preparated before. With our components. Of course, with our encoders. And the playback is also ours. And the other demo we have here is we have a camera over there. Yeah. An IP camera. Okay. And the server in the background, which is encoding material live and then streaming to the device. So this can be a laptop or a Android, Android or iOS. tablet, iOS, iPad, whatever. So what is Dash? Dash is new generation streaming protocol. New generation streaming protocol inside the browser. Uh, Does it have anything uh, to do no, with the browser? No, the browser is HTML5? just a container now. So it's the player itself has to be Dash compatible. So it sends signals to the server when the bandwidth is not good enough. It can switch to lower quality, lower bit rate. Is that part of Dash? Yes. Yes. And uh, so that means uh, adaptive uh, multi bit rate streaming. Correct. It's not VBR. Yes. It's something it's like having many yes. resolution on the server. It could be yes, VBR. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Resolutions and quality. All right. And uh, this works on Android. Yep. Yep. So what can what can you show here on the Android device? Uh, is it is it just in the is it just in the in the application or in the uh, browser? It's also? a player. It's a player. It's a player. Yeah. player. All right. Uh, so this is right here. And then uh, what does Fraunhofer have to do with this solution? So Fraunhofer has an audio codec, which is also to do adaptive streaming. So you normally, in the main case, you have video, different video layers, and switching the bit rates between video layers. And Fraunhofer is providing the same for audio. Nice. It's based on AAC, and has also segments which can be exchanged based on the bit rate. All right. This audio is a bit tricky because it will, you will hear some glitches during quality switching, so they made special algorithms they have special. So how do you yeah how do you do that? How does it just continue playing exactly yes, the yeah, same exactly frame? The same. Yeah you don't feel the difference. You don't uh, feel the difference. The idea is that you don't recognize that it's switching between different layers. So you recognize that the quality is probably going up or down, but you don't see any jumps in the video or black frames or something like so that. So you can go from 4K to uh, 30, 30, 30 yeah. 360 P yes, yes. Just uh, if there's more or less bandwidth, automatically yes. the player kind of sends the some kind of uh, stuff back to the server. Uh, no, player just measures the bandwidth, network bandwidth, and CPU consumption. And then it decides whether it can it be bitrate increase, resolution increase, or it should go down. Is there any way to combine this with peer-to-peer -peer or something? Or well, there's nothing to do with that. No, nothing to do with server it. solution to player yes, multiple in, clients in the yes. browser or in the app. Yeah. 